and and Israel's gonna go into Palestine. They're already bombing and so they don't play fair. Their world is killing people. Just imagine the people back in the day when they would have to travel certain distances for months or even years. What is one thing that they would carry with them? The Quran. Why? Because they did not have it on their mobile devices or their gadgets. Brothers and sisters, imagine you have a app, the Qurani app, which not only shows you how much rewards you get, but reminds you to read the Quran, gives you reminders. Download the Qurani app now and let it testify for you on your Qiyamah that you read it wherever you was. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Anybody that has a atom weight of mercy and a heart, you can be a disbeliever, whoever you for that matter. Allah God Almighty has created all of us to have mercy, to understand what mercy is, to have compassion, yes, to have some kind of emotional intelligence. You don't need to be a very emotional person, a very, very good person, a, a saint to have a heart against what's going on in Gaza. Here is a reaction of Joe Rogan and what he thinks of Israel's atrocities that has been committed against the Gazans, against the Palestinians. Hear it for yourself. This Israel thing, like it scares the shit out of me. When I see something like that happen, you know, it's like there's no clear way this resolves peacefully. Like this is bad. This is real bad. And and Israel's gonna go into Palestine, they're already bombing and so their world is killing people. Their world is controlling resources. They don't play fair. They release stories that aren't true. They use disinformation to switch narratives. They have social media posts that aren't real. They're also coordinating military attacks. What they've done with us is they've sheltered us and then censored all the mainstream media in such a way. Completely controlled the narrative of how you think about what can and cannot happen in the world. What? There you go, guys. And subhanAllah, as you can see, brothers and sisters, that Joe Rogan is outright saying what is the truth? What is truthhood? That is the reason why in our religion, in Islam, we are told that Allah says in the Quran, speak the truth. Even if it's against yourself or your kin, meaning what? If my friend is Muslim, if my brother was a Muslim, or if my father was a Muslim, if my mother was a Muslim, if they are wrong, we do not take their sides because they're Muslims. Rather, we will say, no, you are wrong. This is the justice that has been taught to us by Islam, that we have to speak the truth. I can have somebody who is a clear enemy of Islam argument say, the person that we hate, yes? And he can be here. And I can judge between my best friend or my own blood brother or my own son and an enemy of Islam. But if the matter is pertaining to business and my son has wronged him, I will say you are wrong and you have to pay him. And this incident happened at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Um, and even uh, at the time of I think Ali Radulan, where he favored a Jewish man over a Muslim. Why? Because he said you are wrong. He had to favor a Jewish man. Why? Because he was being, being wrong. Not because, oh, he's Jewish and apparently we are anti-Semitic and we don't. No, 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 no. He said you're wrong. Even, I'll repeat again, even Benjamin Netanyahu, the evil Satan, okay? The evil Satan, even if he was here in front of me and I hate his guts and I hope an end comes to his life because of what he's committed. If he came in front of me on a matter of business between me and my brother and the matter is pertaining to justice, if my brother has stolen from Benjamin Netanyahu, the Satan evil Iblis, even if he did, I will say you are wrong and you owe him money. This is what our religion teaches us, brothers and sisters. That's all I want to see in a nutshell. The Joe Rogan podcast, you can clearly see, brothers and sisters, that this is him seeing the reality, seeing the truth. And like the Israeli media says, what? If you are objective in your media, in your journalism, you are with Hamas. You cannot make this stuff up, brothers and sisters. That's all I'm going to say. And I appreciate and really, really want to thank Joe Rogan for speaking out, uh, out against this atrocity that's happening. And hopefully there will come an end and Israel will put an, will put an end and give the Palestinians their land back and get the hell out of there and let the Jews, the Christians and the Muslims and even the Zionists, if they want to live in peace, live in peace with the Palestinians. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.